Hello everyone and welcome to Flower Friday. Hey there. My name's Amanda. I'm Sherry. And we are the mother-daughter designers at Grace Monroe Home, where we help you transform the ordinary home into an extraordinary home. That's right. And today's wreath has got me singing when the ants go marching in. Yes, we are making a watermelon yes. and ant wreath. Yes, <laughs> we've got ants around here. Yeah. And, and the for ants go marching in. Look at there. And for somebody who really cannot stand an cannot ant. stand an ant, cannot stand them. I'm talking about <laughs> petrified. <laughs> she yeah. seems pretty excited about today's yes. wreath. Yes, that's exactly right. So welcome everyone. We are yes. so happy that you guys are joining us today. Yes, we are. Welcome, welcome. And those of you who are joining us live, if you'll just type live in the comments, let us know where you're watching us from. If you are watching the replay, you can just type replay in the comments. And again, let us know where you're watching our video from. That is right. And if you don't mind just sharing this with your friends, so let them come watch this ant get busy here. Look yeah, because this one's going to be... those watermelons. This one's going to be fun. And I'm gonna, we're going to tell you about the bow. We're going to tell you about the sign that we've got attached. Yes. And then we're going to show you everything that we're working with. That is right. I just love, love, love this sign. And let me show it to you up close. Hey, Barbara. Isn't hey, Rachel. That precious? Tiffany and Kim. Hey, Jackie. We're so glad you guys are here with us today. So cute. And this sign is from R&R &R Accents. And Rachel is watching, and she is going to put the link in the comments. So be looking. You will see that in the comments. And um, I just think it's precious. And she has got beautiful signs. And this one is just adorable. I sent her a message and told her what I was looking for. And that's what she came up with. And it is just perfect. So I love it. So the sign that we're using today, like we said, it came from R&R &R Accents. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel is the, is the name of the lady who made it for us. It is so cute. And it's handmade. Yes. Hand painted. So cute. For our viewers, she does have a code of 10% off if you use the code GRACE. So I will, we will put that in the comments for you guys. And if you want to check out her signs, you can use that code on all of her signs. And if you've watched us over the last several months, we've been using them just because the quality is really great. Wonderful and quality. We're, we're always looking for unique, fun, different kind of signs. And she definitely yes, has those. She does. They are beautiful. Now, our bow is just a stacked bow. Um, as you can see, we've already got these made for today, but I will link a tutorial for you guys to watch. Now we used all one and a half inch mm -hmm. wired ribbons for this bow. We've already got it attached and it's attached right at 11 o'clock on our 14 inch wreath base. That's so right. we've got that. We've got some greeneries that we're gonna be using. Yes. And I will show this to you guys. I love this. I love this. Especially when we make watermelon theme wreaths. Yep. I just think it's perfect. It looks like watermelon. <laughs> That's right. So it's we're perfect. going to be using a bunch of that in it. We've got some fern. And this is the Amazon fern that yes. we, uh, we've told you guys about this before. Really good deal. And actually we really like, like the quality. Yes. Um, so we're using that. Let's see what else. We've got some roses, some pretty little red roses. I love these. We've got some geraniums. I mean, these just seem to go with summer and watermelon, yeah. red geranium. So we've got those. We've got some ranunculuses, uh, little red, well, I guess those are ranunculuses. They could be cabbage roses, yeah. but they look like ranunculus. Ranunculus. So either one would either work. Either one would work. That's right. And, and our little white daisies. I love, love, love these too. These are also another one of those random Amazon finds. Yes. Um, I'll put the links for you guys where you can get this. Now, the little roses, um, they're from Hobby Lobby. Yes. And they're you in the can pick get, section. You know, the ranunculuses and the other flowers you can get at Hobby Lobby, any pretty much any craft store has those as well. Yes, yes. They're very, very easy to find. They are. The summer. Hello, guys. Welcome. Yes. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Yes, we are. The first thing, of course, we're going to do is green our wreath. Well, do you want to tell them how, you, how we attach? Oh, yeah. We better do that first, hadn't we? Now, I wanted the sign because of the shape of the sign, and I will show you up under my bow. You see, it's, it's like a little tag. So I wanted it to kind of look like it was coming from the bow. 
So uh, that's why I've got it put to the side like this. And uh, I just put a little hole. I use my little uh, jewelry hole punch that you can find on Amazon very inexpensively. And I just poked holes right there and right there and just wired it. And then I put a hole up in here in the little hole right there. You could use a ribbon or anything um, to, to wire it. But since it was going to be covered, I just used wire and put that and then just wired it directly to my grapevine reed. So there we go. It very, very easy. So we are going to go ahead now and start greening our wreath. So if like I, I mentioned my wire earlier, you got yours. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. you had mine. So like I mentioned earlier, we already have the bow attached. It is attached at 11 o'clock on our wreath. So as she said, we kind of got our um, sign at a little bit of an angle. So when you when you look at your wreath, the top at 12, you're going to put your attach your bow at 11 o'clock, and we just have it attached right to the base, right around yes. the grapevine base. Yeah. We use a 26 gauge floral wire, and it works perfectly. It really does. That's a really cute bow too. Yep. I love all these ribbons. I, I do too. Just um, love those ribbons. Actually, um, the ant ribbon and the watermelon ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. It is. The Swiss Dot, you can get at Craft Outlet. You can get at Fifth Street Studio Ribbon. Mm -hmm. um, lots of places have that. But the Ant and the Watermelon is from Hobby Lobby. That's right. All right. So we're going to start with our fern. And we're actually going to be using both of these, our greeneries, to green it. But we're going to start with our fern. So I'm going to start. I want it to kind of come all the way around. So I... Uh, I'm going to start right down here at my little ant, just like this. A cute little ant. Yeah. Holding up the watermelon. Now I'm going to leave a space because I want to uh, add my other greenery in here. So I'm going to just leave a, a little space, probably, what, about three inches, I guess it is. And I'm just going to bring these all the way around the outside of my wreath. Just keep going around. I think the fern is going to go really good with this this watermelon look. Yeah, I do too. I love this. And, and I like bringing, anytime that I can bring in the colors of my sign and my ribbon, and this green is, is perfect for that. Because it does have the lime green going on, and I love that. And you don't have to get these exactly three inches or anything. You just want to have them kind of spaced out as evenly as you can. And you do see me pushing the greenery up to the top of the stem uh, with these. Yeah, they come up like this. And you can see the sticks are, are at the, t the top. So we just kind of push it up. You don't want to push it too far because it'll pop the little top will pop off, but we push it up, you know, most of the way. Yeah. And now I'm coming up just, just a little under my ant. I don't want to fill up anything in this area, but I do want to come just at the corner because this is going to kind of come around like this. So once I get that done, now I'm going to take my watermelon leaf and I'm just cutting these off the stems and now these I also got in the uh, pick department at uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm just turning them around so that the fronts of those show. So y'all let us know what the weather is like. I hope that y'all are enjoying a beautiful spring day because we, we sure are, have today. It's been so nice. It has. 
we, I told my husband earlier, I said, I cannot hardly stay in the house when when it's like this. I know. We you have know. been outside all yes. day long. I'm going to cut these apart because these won't slide all the way up. up. And so I'm going to save this piece for somewhere else. And I'm just going to put part of this here just like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Just cut that bottom one off. But yes, it has been beautiful. And as of right now, it's supposed to be beautiful all weekend. And this girl is ready for it. Mm -hmm. I have said this so many times, but it's like something about when it starts to get warm, I feel like I finally come alive. Like I've been hibernating all winter. I think... You know, y'all let us know in the comments if you feel like that. If you kind of get like during the winter, I don't know, just blah. Yeah, it's just maybe, like a little just, bit. Yep, I but have always been like that. When that spring weather starts, it's, uh, it is. It's just like yeah, life. It <laughs> is. It's like here we are. We are alive. Lori says it's 80 degrees in South Carolina. Yeah. It says it's 63 in Rockland. Massachusetts, hot and humid in Texas. Yeah, um, yeah, I know that feeling. Well, yes, because we're in Alabama, so we have like, I don't know, two weeks of spring and yes. then it's... And then it's summertime. It's summer, but you guys yeah. in Texas have it even hotter. Yeah, y'all know. Y'all know about that. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I, I said I, I try very hard, and I say this every year. I am not going to complain about how hot it is, and of course I still do. But I love it. So I'm going to try not to complain this year. And see how that goes. So we're still just going around with yep, the just watermelon going plant around. And the fern. I just love this though. Love that greenery. Yep, I'm going tomorrow to get some new flowers and things to plant in my yard, and I cannot wait for that. I hadn't decided what all I'm going to get yet, but I just cannot wait. What size are the loops on the bow? Six, five, um, and four? Six, five, and four. Yeah. Mine is mashed, but I'll fix it yep. when we finish. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead for right now before I forget it, and I am going to put a piece of my fern on the inside of my bow. Just like that. And then I'm also going to put one of these pieces behind my bow. And see, that just, you know, like I say all the time, that just helps your bow to stand up by making sure that you've got your greenery on this side as well as on the outside. So there we go. Get these turned around a Such a cute sign. I know, I just love it. Just love it, love it, love it. Fun and playful. Yep. All right, I'm going to start with my pretty roses. And I am going to bring this one right here beside. So I want to show that little ant off. So I'm going to kind of frame him with this rose. one of them right in here as well, but I'm going to leave it long. I want it to kind of be down at the bottom. Just like that. I 
this one I'm going to put up here in the top. Tell them what you've been doing. So I've been working on my garden, my vegetable yes. garden today. My, like I said earlier, I've been outside all day mm -hmm. getting that fixed up and ready to go. Yep. I love... All I can say is I'm glad I'm her neighbor. I love, yeah. <laughs> I love when I can do my vegetable garden. It's just, I don't know. It's so much fun. It me. is. I mean, it's I, work. I, it but, is work, but... She yeah. got that from me. I love it. And uh, I don't do one anymore because uh, with just my husband and I. Well, we, we have just, plenty. Yeah. And, and she does always have plenty. So, uh, but I always loved my garden. There's just something about growing stuff yourself. Mm -hmm. I love it. Let us know in the comments if you guys have a garden. Yes. And what do you grow if you've got one? I'm just curious. What all have you planted so far? Amanda? You. Oh, me? Oh, yeah. Oh, you. you're right. I have, so far, I've got tomatoes and zucchini and squash and um, jalapenos and bell peppers, or, uh, orange and yellow bell, bell peppers, and a bunch of different herbs and chives and bunch of stallions and Ooh, we're gonna eat some good yeah. food this year huh so that's what i've got so far yeah all right so i'm going to start putting in some of my geraniums i love geraniums they are a good summer flower yes they just kind of go they just kind of go go with everything yep These I'm just kind of bringing in. I just kind of got these in the center. Part of the wreath. You keeping the, uh, the leaves on or are you taking them off? Um, well, those two didn't have any, but I'm going to actually go back and use my leaves because okay. uh, I like these. They're kind of pretty, so I am... Chris said, a little too early here in Idaho. Yeah, I could see I that. I imagine, yeah. It's the perfect time here in Alabama yes. when everybody's planting their gardens right Yes, now. it is. Yep, usually they say about the second week in April is is when you can start safely. Okay, I'm going to put one up here, kind of in the top. Donna said, do your stems stick out the back? It looks like you're sticking oh, yes. them straight in. Yes, they do stick out the back. And then we go back. I'll, in fact, I'll show you. Um, that's, that's how they do in the back. And then we go back and cut them even with the, uh, with the wreath. We'll just go back in here at the end. And except that you always use the flat side of your cutters and just come in and cut them very, very close. Uh, we do keep our stems long in order to uh, give your wreaths the dimension that, you know, it's the best way to get dimension in your wreaths. And you really want to leave them long. Um, also, it actually helps things stay in better in your, in your uh, wreath by leaving the stems long because you see that we kind of weave them through the grapevine pieces. Now, if you're doing like I'm doing and you don't have a stand and you're working on the table, 
you can put them in at an angle right. and they won't stick out the back. Yeah. Um, you, Maybe you'll have a couple, a little, yeah. but they're kind of like at an angle and you can trim it up. So, because it is hard if you have a, you know, if you're working on a table and you don't have a stand. Yeah. So. But if you were using a stand, they are, uh, it's gonna, they're gonna be sticking out the back and that is okay. This one is going up here behind my bow. It also, by doing our wreaths the way that we do them, it also allows you to use a smaller wreath base, but yet still get a very, very large wreath. And that is very important, especially if you're selling your wreaths and you want to ship them. And so I've just gone around with yeah. my geraniums. Um, you know, they're not completely even all, no, all around, and you but you know, I just yeah. try to space them out, you know, fairly, yeah, fairly even. And I'm still doing that. She's just faster than I am. Well, you were talking about that. I was talking, but it doesn't when matter. I start she talking, is faster than I am. When I start talking there, I start slowing down. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that is just the way it is. <sighs> I am going to move my tails and even put one up here, up under my my bow a little bit. Just like oh, that. and I have cucumbers. I didn't mention those. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, already, I already planned my cucumbers, too. I forgot about those. So it looks like several of you have vegetable yes. gardens. I'm not alone. That's fantastic. Yep. Get my bow. Through that. Okay. You already started on your second bush or your second Oh yeah, I was just, cause I never did, I didn't get them all the way around. So okay. I'm just adding a few from that second bush. Love that ant, cutest thing. Okay, so now I want to add, I've got my little white daisies. I've also got my rhinoculuses. I better go ahead and add those or I will forget them. I mean, I guess you could or you wouldn't. You really have to, don't you even have to use to. them. And I may, well, I may just use two or three. And I wanna show you a little trick that you can do. You see how that one is, funny. <laughs> it's been mashed. All you have to do to straighten it out and make it look pretty and round again is just hold on to the bottom and take your hand in the center and just twist the center. And then as you see it, it becomes round and pretty. Yeah, it works like magic. Yep, it does. So just a little trick. I'm going to put one right down here beside my little ant friend. See, I'm trying to make them my friends. Oh, no, I know so, you, and I don't think knows, you'll ever yeah. be friends you, with them. You had never seen nobody. You think some somebody's scared of mice? Nah. Ants. I, I will say. Do not to stand you, an ant. I will say, I don't know if everybody has fire ants no. like we do, but here in the south in Alabama, we get these huge fire ant beds or mounds Good or whatever you gracious. want to call them. And I mean, they're all over the place here, and they will, I mean, they get their name for a reason. Yes, they do. They will steam like the fire, fire out of one. You. Yeah, they really do. It feels like you were on fire when you get stung by one. So, I, you know, I don't know if everybody has those. And I guess, <laughs> I, you know, I've uh, my, my parents told me this story. I do not remember it, thankfully, but apparently when I was three, uh, I sat down in a mound of fire ants and they got me really really good and because i guess that's why i have always been so like almost irrationally crazy about ants so. 
I guess that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to start putting, and I will keep flipping that later. I'm going to start putting my pretty little white daisies. And these also, did we already say these came from Amazon yeah. as well. well? We'll find the links for you guys on mm -hmm. those as well. Yes, that was I another one of those these. little fun little finds. We, yes, it really they, they really were, and I love these. They just kind of make everything pop. And you will see why in just a minute if you haven't seen us use them. Now, I do want to say, if you order these, do not be surprised, but they are plastic. They are plastic. <laughs> I don't yes. know if you can tell from they here. They are plastic. They but, are not silk or, you know, material. They are plastic. But, which I don't think we were expecting that. Yeah, we I really them. wasn't, but I'm tickled with them they're now. A, yeah, they're actually... I don't know. I kind of like them. I, I really do. I, I do. I didn't know when I first got them. I'm like, oh man, I don't know about these. I love them. I'm just going to go, go ahead and say that. Well, they add this kind of three-dimensional really three mm -hmm. look or something. I don't know. They do. Kind of so I will be buying more. And they do have them in all colors. Now, some of them are not yeah, the, the other plastic. the other colors were not plastic, yeah. just the white ones, because well, we've got I mean, the yellow I mean, and the pink. Over there. They're not plastic, but the white were. So we yeah. were kind of um, surprised, but we like them. Yep, we do. I just needed one more geranium right in here. And those are you who are just joining us. Welcome. We are so yes, we are happy you are here. So glad you're here with us today. For our favorite day of the week. We enjoy spending this time with you all. So we're sprinkling these just all, just all over, and they're just a little wild. So you just got to expect that they're going to fall where they want to. But that is perfectly all right. The main thing when using these, you just want to make sure that you get them all over, evenly distributed, all over. And you can use as many or as few as you want to. They just make this pop, I think. Yeah, isn't that fun? Mm-hmm. 